Whenever a computer wants to communicate with another computer, the communication between them should be good and reliable, so that it is guaranteed that the data is received correctly. For example, if you want to download a file, or view a web page, or check your email, you would expect the entire file, and not just a part of the file, or view the web page intact in order with nothing missing. If data is missing, or out of order then it is of no use to you. This is where TCP helps. It stands for Transmission Control Protocol, and this is the main protocol used for TCP IP network. This protocol will ensure that all data is received and is in order. Without TCP some data could be missing, or out of order. Without TCP, your web page could be all messed up, and some images could be missing, or the text could be backwards or out of order. Without TCP you could get a downloaded file which may have some parts missing, and which makes it useless to use. TCP is a connection-oriented protocol, this means that it has to first acknowledge a session between the two computers that are communicating. So, the two computers, verify the connection before any communication takes place. This is done by a three-way handshake as below. Once this three-way handshake is done, then the data can be delivered. One more thing to remember about TCP is, if a data packet is lost, or does not arrive, then TCP will resend it again, and guarantee that no data is lost. UDP is very similar to TCP, but it is connectionless protocol, which means it does not establish a session, and it does not guarantee data delivery. So, when a computer sends data, it does not really care if the data is received at the other end or not. So UDP is also known as, fire and forget protocol, also because of the less overhead, of not guaranteeing data delivery, UDP is faster than TCP. This is the main difference between TCP and UDP protocols. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you like the video. Please subscribe to our channel for more such videos.